Welcome to our training on private conversations with students, part of our Privacy and Pandemic series. My name is Juliana Cotto and I'm a Policy Fellow for the Youth and Education Privacy at the Future of Privacy Forum. The objectives of this module are to one, understand the obstacles and privacy risks to having a private conversation with students during online learning, and two, learn strategies and tips to hosting safe private conversations with students in an online setting. Being able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with students is a vital component to teachers' ability to provide the support students need. Giving feedback on assignments or answering questions students have are often, are often most effective when the teacher can have these conversations at the student's desk or the teacher's desk so that all other students can continue working and the student can ask those questions without worrying about others listening in. One-on-one -on -one conversations are also incredibly important when we consider providing the accommodations or modifications some students require, which do not need to be and should not be addressed in front of the entire class. Teachers also strategically address off-task behaviors through visual cues or in a one-on-one -on -one format to get a positive response rather than in front of the entire class. So establishing that there are a variety of reasons why and how teachers have private conversations, we have to think about how does this work in an online environment? Immediately, there are significant obstacles to being able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You can't go over to a student's desk or call them back to your teacher desk. Everyone can hear whatever the speaker is saying in a video call and teachers who might be trying to schedule calls with students to have these one-on-ones can find this to be incredibly time consuming or leaving certain students out whose schedules just don't align. Aside from these obstacles, there are also a number of privacy risks to having these private conversations. Because everyone can hear the speaker in a video call, there is the risk of divulging personal information. For example, in speaking to a student on their modified work, this can reveal to all other students in the virtual class that this student has a learning disability. And this leads to the risk of social harm. Students might feel embarrassed to ask any questions they have about assignments because they know they have to ask this question in front of the whole class and the answer must also be answered out loud. They can feel fearful of stigmatization or bullying. If the class is being recorded, there's also a risk of a conversation that should have been in private of being recorded, stored, and even distributed out to others in the class. Teachers who do set up one-on-one -on -one calls with students may be fearful of liability issues. What if they are accused of something happening during that one-on-one -on -one call with the student and there was no one else there to witness? It is important to understand these obstacles and privacy risks of having private conversations in an online space. So here are some strategies for engaging in private conversations in a safe way. So first, during video classes, teach your students how to privately chat you. Private chat can be a great way for students to ask clarifying questions and for you to be able to check in on students as they enter the class. Some video conferencing platforms also allow for breakout rooms. So while students are working on assignments or broken up into their own groups, you can host a breakout room where students can come to you and ask deeper questions about the assignments or where you can provide those necessary accommodations and modifications. Outside of the virtual classrooms, teachers can also schedule office hours where students can show up and have those one-on-one -on -one conversations. The same with also scheduling phone calls with students to have those deeper check-ins. Some districts and schools also have approved communication tools that allows teachers to message with students. And lastly, provide students with the tools and agency they need to protect their privacy. If students are concerned about others in their household of listening in on conversations, recommend finding a private room or space or to use headphones. Ask students, is this a good time to give feedback on your assignment? Or during virtual classes, in addition to asking if there are any questions, remind students that they can privately chat you with their questions. Here are some important considerations to take note of. Only use district approved tools to have online conversations to make sure those privacy protections are in place. Check what your video conferencing platform is capable of. Are students able to private chat you? Are you able to host breakout rooms? 
And lastly, do not use social media to have private conversations with students. Social media do not have the privacy protections in place that students need and deserve. To end this module, we'd like you to reflect on the following questions. One, how are you currently having private conversations with students? And two, what are some new processes you can implement to host safe private conversations in an online learning environment? Thank you so much for joining this training.